Hello, today we're gonna look a little bit at the crop tool and some uh, cropping options. Okay, cropping it's uh, the process of trimming. Trimming means removing portions of an image, um, starting from the edges and we're going to the middle okay so this is a scan it's in full screen you can also trim uh, pixels using the crop and straighten and uh, trim commands here we're gonna look at that at that a little bit later so using the crop tool you can uh, drag over the part of the image you want to keep to create a marquee say like that um, the marquee doesn't have to be precise you can adjust it um, by dragging one of the corners or in the middles uh, holding down shift key is gonna constraint to a fixed a fixed ratio you can also rotate going to a corner a little bit further and the pointer is gonna change and then you can rotate uh, moving the center of the rotation you can click this small center and after that you can uh, move the center of the rotation moving the whole marquee you can click anywhere inside just drag it then to complete the process you can press enter or go and right click inside and say crop to cancel you can pray also escape key options are for the shield color the shield uh, is the shaded area that will be trimmed if you leave the shield on you can change its color and its op opacity also options are um, for perspective if you click on perspective you can um, move the corners independently let's say like this then press enter on uh, images where you don't have a background and let's say that we make a layer from this you can also set the options to hide the crop area not to delete but let's say hide and when you press enter your canvas size is gonna change to the area that you've cropped to but your layer is gonna keep the whole image Let's say undo Hide the options is not available for images that uh, contain the background layer. So remember to make it a layer first. Uh, you can also use the resembling options in the menu bar uh, to resemble the image during uh, during the crop. You, in order to resemble the image, all the text boxes must be filled or oh, let's say that we want to crop on square of uh, 500 pixels on 500 pixels at 72 pixels per inch okay. press return then if you're gonna stay with this the image inside the marquee is gonna be 500 on 500 
if you gonna get bigger the image inside the marquee is gonna be also 500 on 500 so it's gonna shrink let's see like that so now let's see it's 500 on 500 at 72 okay you just have to remember that um, the resampling while cropping or transform is uses the default resampling option that you're gonna find it under your preferences on general image interpolation so now I was uh, having smoother for enlargement if I really want to redact we're gonna choose because make sharpener we're gonna see about all those options some other time another way of doing this is by making a selection say like that and you just go to image crop and your selection is gonna be there Uh, the trim command crops an image by, by removing unwanted image data in some different ways than the crop tool so let's say that uh, I'll go to trim first of all I can trim transparent pixels if I have transparent pixels but I don't have right now I can choose a top color in the left and then um, the top pixel color will be removed from top or bottom or left or right or i can choose bottom right so the pixel from here and when i click ok uh, the bottom left color is gonna be trimmed from top bottom left right okay so that's much what you can do and see you soon thank you